What's up guys? Um, so first off, I apologize. I probably look like crap. I'm just not getting home. It's um, late in the evening, 8.47, and um, I've gotten, just gotten from work, left Barnes & Noble, picking up a couple books. Um, but I want to share with you guys that I am getting back into programming. Um, and it's been a while. Um, I, I know some of you guys probably have asked me in the comments or or maybe I've talked on it uh, in a video before that um, and, you know, I, I, I didn't necessarily program or that's not what I do on my job. Um, and it's actually been a while. A while. Um, I graduated college in December 2014. It's very much been three years since I've actually I've actually coded. Um, and, I, and I mentioned before, I don't know if it was in a video or if I mentioned it to one of you guys in the comments, um, that I didn't program. And I said that the reason why was because um, it didn't necessarily go along with what I was doing at the moment or didn't necessarily go along with, um, you know, what I was currently working on. And that, you know, I said that probably in the past couple of months. But, um, you know, I think with anything, um, for me at least, and I think it's very important for, for, for people in general, um, usually you find a little bit more energy and you're a little bit more excited um, and you do better with things that you have a little bit of passion in, you, you actually enjoy you actually have a reason to do it um you know i've talked about this before you know with pertaining to your identity you know that you shouldn't evolve your identity or you shouldn't try to be someone that you're not um the only way you should the only reason why you should change your identity or personality or whatever is if you have a really good reason to do do so if it's gonna there's gonna be some sort of benefit in it but um i don't want to talk about that here but um yeah so i've discovered a reason why why i um why i need to get back into programming and um you know, because of that reason, that is why I'm, I'm going to um, begin back practicing, studying, and uh, working on projects. So, um, I think I've mentioned to you guys before, and I'm not going to talk too much about this. Um, my whole passion, purpose, um, is to be able to make a difference in people's lives and to be able to, to change lives. And to, you know, pretty much have an impact on this world in a positive way. And um, I truly believe that I can do that. But I know that that is a, a, very, a very big goal. It's, um, you know, not something that I should take lightly, and I'm not going to take it lightly. Um, and of course, it's something that's going to require a lot of resources, a lot of money, a lot of time. So um, overall, um, I, like I said, I've discovered a reason why I need to get back into programming. Um, so me and my buddy are, are, are getting together um, and, and we're going to begin working on a specific project. And um, not only one project, but um, you know, more, multiple projects through time. And I can't necessarily share what that exactly is, but you know... Um, you know the process is very important so perhaps through time I'll, I'll be able to share that with you guys I hope I will um, you know the next couple months to the next year or so um, you know so maybe soon hopefully soon I'll be able to share that with you guys um, but that project is a, a part of the bigger picture um, as I said you know you have to be I'm sorry about the the uh, movement of the camera here <laughs> I don't have a, a stand or anything to hold it far back and I'm just holding my hand but um, what was I saying um, like I said, you, you, I really have to have a, a good bit of resources, a, a good bit of money to put myself in a position to do so. And um, that's going to take some time. That's going to take some, some smart investment. That's going to take some building. That's going to take some, um, you know, sources of income um, and all of those sorts of things. So, so that is um, really what I'm, I'm, we're going to be working on, um, developing those streams. He has certain goals. I have certain goals. And um, overall... Is going to contribute towards those goals, and um, you know, one of the best things about it is this guy. He's um, he actually has a, a similar, you know, goal to 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 to, to mine, with um, impacting people's lives in a in a positive manner. So, um, I picked up a couple books um, about electron. This is about electronics. Um, you know, this is an area that I I am not too extremely familiar in. Most of you guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are already, um, and I'm not embarrassed about saying that because. You have to start from somewhere. I think you, you really do have to start from somewhere. So I'm not afraid to say that I'm starting from the ground up. And um, also picked up a book on um, Arduinos. Um, now I know I'm pretty sure that many of you guys are probably pros at this. Um, and I know this channel is, isn't just composed of programmers, but a lot of you guys are. Um, so, you know, most of you guys are probably, my arm's getting really tired here. Most of you guys are probably already familiar with this and you probably already worked on um, pretty big projects and, and things of that sort. So um, you know that's that's really cool, but as as I said before, I'm starting from I'm pretty much a noob in this. Um, you know I'm starting from the bottom, and um, you know hopefully hopefully you know I will learn what I need to know to be able to do um, work on these projects and work on these things that that we're about to engage in. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, now I know that these are probably resources I can find online. Um, but there's 
the reason why I went um, and bought a physical copy, as you see here, of a small uh, collection, and not necessarily, not necessarily um, tech-related stuff. But um, I like to read. Um, you know, to me, reading. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> I'm about to run out of space on this camera. Um, to me, reading is like one of my favorite. Not necessarily. It's one of my favorite pastimes, also. But um, I really love reading. Um, it's something that I've discovered in this past year or so. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll come home from work, I open up a book, start reading. Um, before bed, I open up a book, start reading. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but um, I plan on moving to China in the by by fall 2020. Um, and that's the reason why I have um, some books here. It's like a Chinese uh, dictionary um, has pinyin in it, and um, I have another book. It's probably in my bedroom somewhere um, about Chinese culture, and I. I've been um, subscribed to this excellent program online that has I've been learning from for the past two months and it's really going well um, so maybe maybe someday I'll speak a little Mandarin for you guys like I said I'm, I'm, I'm new, to, new to this I've only been learning for about three months so um, you know I'm gonna say some things that are probably gonna sound weird as heck but um, you know anyways um, that's a that's another that's another um, video topic but um, yeah overall I'm pretty excited like I said I know plenty of you guys are, are coders and um, you know, I'm probably going to delve off into C++ or something. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, what I was more most familiar with back in college was Java. Um, and, you know, my graduation came pretty quickly. So, you know, I didn't didn't really take much time to, to really get familiar with the syntax of other languages. But um, anyways, pretty excited about that. Like I said, just a little, little announcement. Um, there's going to be some changes in here also. Um, with the, the videos that I do inside of my apartment. Um, actually, oh yeah, I'm actually building my uh, first PC pretty soon. Um, all my parts should be here um, probably Thursday or, or Friday, so it's probably going to be either tomorrow or um, Friday. What's the day? Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow or the next day. Um, so, yeah, I'm building it off of a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 uh, processor. Um, I've heard pretty, pretty, good, pretty good things about this processor. Um, Six six cores, multi-threaded, um, so it's pretty. It's getting pretty powerful. Um, yeah, I have to build on that. Um, maybe I'll record that and show that to you guys. Also, I don't really know, um, but I think that'll be fun. Anyways, just want to share that with you guys. Um, pretty good things to come. I'll um, sort of update you throughout the update you throughout the time on the progress of these projects. And like I said, I may show you this PC build. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later.